Hello and welcome to World Edit 101. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the basics of uh, World Edit. Obviously, World Edit is such a deep, deep program. There is so much you can do with it. Um, but I'm going to be just showing you the basics in this particular video. So, if I connect it to my server, so here we are. We'll use this little area to show you the basics of World Edit. First thing you need to do with World Edit is get the World Edit wand. Now the World Edit wand is a wooden axe. Um, you can either craft yourself a wooden axe and it will just work, or you can use the command forward slash forward slash wand. That will give you the wooden axe, which is used for all World Edit uh, region selections. Um, all World Edit commands are prefixed by a double forward slash rather than a single forward slash for most other commands. Right, so let's start by selecting a region. You can left click for the first point and right click for the second point. Now as you can see here there is a grid appeared on my screen. Uh, you will not see this unless you have the World Edit client side interface mod uh, which I have got installed because it makes it very handy uh, but it also makes it easier for you to see what is actually happening uh, in this video. So once you've got a region selected there's, there's a lot and a lot of things you can do. First thing, obviously, is to replace the materials. So you've got a region selected. You type forward slash forward slash set. Uh, then the material you want to use. Now you can use item names or item ID numbers. Um, names is usually just easier because ID numbers are hard to find. So set stone, and there you go. So the whole section now is stone. Forward slash forward slash undo will always undo your last command. It will go back about ten different commands. So if you make a, a massive mistake you can undo quite a bit of stuff so there you go so that's that's the that's the basic thing and, and like I say you can it can actually replace with items so 50 is torches and that messed up a bit because there's water underneath but you see you see you see that you see the idea oh, double forward slash undo now you can actually change the selection after you've made it so you don't have to make a selection around the whole thing um, straight away. So at the moment we've got that selection or that area selected but that's just a floor plane that's not really that handy. If you wanted to do something a bit more impressive maybe make a, a house relatively quickly you can expand the region. Now expand does a lot of things. Expand uh, then the amount of blocks you want to do so in this case five and then the direction. Now if I was to just do expand 5 now, it would expand in the direction that I am facing. So it would go off into those mountains there. But you can specify a direction. So expand 5 up. And then you see we have this nice cube selected. So again, we can <coughs> excuse me, set change the material. And that's stone. But as you will see, it is completely solid all the way through. So we undo that. Obviously that's that again is not very handy unless you do just want to fill in a big hole with something. So what you can do if you were to do outline oh four slash four slash outline then again the material so again stone externally looks exactly the same but if we break in you will notice that it's a completely hollow room, floor and ceiling. If you didn't want a floor and ceiling, you can do four slash four slash walls and then again the material. So again from here it looks exactly the same. But we break in and we still have a grass floor and it's open at the top. Right, this time I'm gonna leave the selection as it is and show you the move command so again move and then again block and direction <coughs> if just a number is typed it will go in the direction that you're facing but again in this case we're going to do move up and that will move that entire selection area uh, the amount of blocks in the direction that you've specified so there you go that's moved now what you need to understand is if if now you didn't move it the right amount if I was to do the move command again 
it would still be moving the selection block. So move 5 up has now moved a massive block of air basically upwards and wiped out half of the house. So if you wanted to move the selection blocks you use the shift command. So in this case shift 5 up would move the selection region 5 blocks up and you've got your entire house selected again. So now we can move it back down, five, down. And there you go. And then we'll move the selection box down again as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So now what you can also do is the cut and copy commands. If I were to copy this, it would copy the building. Now bear in mind that it copies relative to where you are so as you see here I'm a block away from the doorway so if I were to just walk sideways oh, and then use the command forward slash forward slash paste there you go <coughs> I'm still two blocks away from the door undo and obviously you can uh, if you just literally did want to move it um, you can cut it and move it there. Obviously when you're cutting it you have to be aware that there's going to be <coughs> areas where you uh, can't or you need to fill in afterwards. So if I was to paste that there then the expand command can actually basically be used uh, inversely with the contract command so if I do contract 5 down, again we've only got that area, set grass, and we go it's fixed as it was before. So yeah, that's pretty much the basics of World Editor. Um, actually one more thing I can show you, if I select that there, and select that there, you asked me if you could just replace blocks uh, with, of one type with another type yes you can obviously we've selected this line across here if we were just use the set command the top half of the door would be blocked off with the new block so oh, sorry, we can use replace now in the replace command you need to give it two materials so basically the first one is what it is now so stone and the second one is what you want it to be afterwards so sandstone bang there you go I do apologise about my coughing, I'm not very well at the moment. But there you go, so that's relatively easy. Uh, that's pretty much all the basics of World Edit. Um, I'll make another couple of videos um, explaining a few other little bits. Because you can re remove blocks that are nearby, you can generate forests, you can generate pumpkin uh, patches, you can do so much stuff with World Edit, it's, it's quite crazy. But there you go, that's the basics of it. Uh, have fun with it. And uh, I'll be back with some more videos soon. Bye now.